Hi guys, so here is Murphy's video from Monday. Um, I added this clip to show you like when we start training, he is excited and goofy and I am excited and goofy with him, but then I ask him to stop and to sit. So you set the boundaries of what is an appropriate interactions. So you can be excited and yeah, good boy Murphy. And then uh -uh, this was too much. You need to settle. Um, no, we work on leave it commands. <laughs> um, I will try to get a better video of it on Wednesday of just how pitiful he looks when we do this. Um, biggest thing with this is that if we learn it with treats and toys, when leave it comes into a situational of other dogs, that behavior is compounded. He knows the muscle memory of it. Um, so that's where we always make it as easy as possible first. And right here, especially for something like once you can see his like deliberation of like, Oh God, there's a treat. Oh God, what's her hands doing? And eventually he's going to give me eye contact right there. It's like the slowest eye contact ever. Um, if he just looked up and let go of what he wanted, he would get the treat faster. So this is where it's teaching him the process in a safe environment before we have to, in a physicality standpoint. Um, so have fun torturing him. I will film a couple ways that you can do it at home with him and with hope, honestly. Um, leave it in place for the two commands. I say have fun torturing your dog in a healthy, positive way because it is making them engage with that thought process. So let me know if you have questions about this specifically. Same thing with playing with balls. He has to make eye contact. I think the thing that we all need to double down on with him is eye contact. So you can literally see my arm, I'm holding it. And then I'm like, oh, this is getting a little tired. And I like sink it in back into my body. When you play fetch, when you go through a door, when you're going to feed him, hold it off to the side and you can ask Murphy and then wait. Don't say anything else. Don't give him any other cues. He has to make the decision to look to you. And this is, this is a couple, like almost a minute worth of, no, I'm not going to look at you. No, I'm going to stare at the ball. And as soon as he looked at me, the ball was tossed. So as soon as he looks at you, then you can go through the door. The food goes down. The treat comes out. Um, that eye contact is a must, but it also at the kind of at the core of it, it is who do I trust? Can I let it go and trust you with this? Now, I, I think place is going to be our like joke command, not the actual command itself, but... Um, I took out a, like a dog bed, a flat dog bed and was like, all right, you're not going to go on a cot. Let's try this today. Um, he would step on it. He would take treats on it, but then he was like, oh God, it's still going to eat me. So I think sensory work is going to be key, getting him to touch different things, go on things. Um, I would say probably next week potentially would be a good time for us to do some field trips. So how does he touch grass? How does he touch rocks? Um, we go to a local park. How does he handle that stress? Um, just to kind of expand his world and see how he does. But this is just, I find it hilarious where he's like, no, I don't want to put my paws on this. <laughs> no, when he is fighting me on this, I'll do a leave its commands. I'll ask for a touch command. I'll look for a name game where he gives me eye contact um, just to redirect. So when he fails, it's not just a fail, fail, fail. It's redirecting and positive. Now, this is not Murphy. This is the little boy is named River. He is 10 months old and full of it and jumping, as you can see. So I was going to do this with Hope, but I ran out of time for filming it. So I, I, I've been doing this with River. You can put a leash on, but with, with her neck, I would say we hook her up to her harness. And then what I'm doing is purposely trying to get River to jump. So, but oh, I'm so excited. Or, oh my goodness, high squeaky voice. The moment that they jump, you turn your energy off and tell them, uh-uh. Once their feet are on the ground, then you toss treats on the ground or ask them for a sit and reward. Um, so there is a little bit of a negative consequence for jumping up. That's why, hey, let's put the, her on the, the harness because of her esophagus. Um, but it can do the same thing with a harness of, nope, I have to catch myself. Eventually what you'll see is River catching himself and not jumping fully up right there. See, he was like, oh, I caught myself. 
That's what we want to reward when a dog jumps up on people a lot. Let me know if you have questions.